What's going on guys, Agent Psycho here, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about some new little um, news we got from yesterday. Um, Duke uh, from Box Critters Guild, he did a live stream with Jen, Andy and Mr. Chili. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was a real fun stream. I absolutely loved it. It was two hours long, completely worth it. And if you haven't already watched his um, stream, then I definitely recommend you watch that two hour video. Obviously, it's not quite as exciting as actually being there, but it's still just an amazing stream in general. And there's so much interesting stuff to listen to as well. And it was just, oh, it was so much fun. Without further ado, we're going to get into the news. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be doing much talking in this video, as these will be clips from Duke's uh, live stream. So all credit on these clips to um, Duke. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to talk about it. So in first, if I remember correctly, we saw some Critter Climb gameplay. So um Andy and uh, Duke I, I forgot his name there um they both got access by Tim um to play basically an early concept per se of Critic Climb now as as we could see in Critic Climb we had the like um rolling barrels with the spikes coming out with the flames coming out but what was new, um, we have fruit. So basically, how the game will work, right? So you're going up the totem pole, you're dodging them obstacles, um, but you have these fruits on the side um, and a little bar which is going down. So as you're going up, this bar is going down by itself and basically keep this bar, which is your health bar, from basically stop going down you have to keep collecting fruit on the way to basically heal in a way um, and then there's these stars as well which I, if I remember correctly Duke said something about he thinks it will be for high scores which sounds like the most logical thing really for the stars to do um, but yeah it was so cool watching that gameplay I really hope I get to play it soon um very very lucky for them to actually be able to play it uh it, it, oh, it looks so much fun duke died quite a few times though <laughs> but second of all i believe i need to try and remember it. yeah this was it um chili was talking about his um what's happening with the hands on the critters uh, so I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'll let the video kind of explain itself in them terms. But um, yeah, first I'm going to show you the um, gameplay video where, the t where Duke is playing the gameplay. And then I'll show you Mr. Chili talking about hands. Um, so if anything, grab your squash. I don't really mind which one it is. I get my Audi one. I know, disappointing, but it tastes good. Audi squash is good. Um, you want your Audi squash? If you want your popcorn? Get whatever you know. Get your crisps. Get your fries. Yes, Loki, it's fries. Um, and yeah, just enjoy. And of course, I just want to say again, all these clips are from Box Grids Guild stream. All credit to him in terms of videos. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy what they have to say. See you around, agents. So this is Go like ahead, a time playing. This is like a kind of an early version of the game. So there might be some bugs and everything in it. Um, like when I fall, I have to refresh <laughs> the page and stuff as well. So oh, I thought you were, I thought you were saying when you fall, it's a bug and not actually you being. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> also true. <laughs> It's just the game oh, didn't God. register my input, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so let's get on into this. Oh, I don't, I don't believe the high school. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how well you do. It's that you tried. Okay. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tapping the screen. Moves us. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my it's goodness. So look at it. Playing in front of 50 oh, people. Oh, so. look at it. That's so cute. Ah, oh, so, that's so cute. How it seems to work is you have the timer. The timer is basically kind of like a health bar, I believe. Like if you hit these things, like I just did there, it goes down. So if you run out of time, the game is over. And I think stars might just be for your high score, maybe. And then I think the the fruit and the food that shows up gives you extra time. Okay, and then we have, we're past level one. Okay, I think it speeds up, right? Every time you go through a level. Yeah. Yes. I'm on level five. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It's so fast. Max concentration. Oops. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, I died. <laughs> this is actually hard. <laughs> I died at level five. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Okay. Do the birds give you damage then? I would assume the so. birds are decoration. Okay. Oh. Oh, are they? Huh. They might be. I I haven't come into contact with one. Gotcha. Oh, oh no! Oh. Not level two. Level. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> My brain is not going to be able to. <laughs> oh no! Oh, and I I'm wonder. Falling I'm now. I need more fruit. Okay. Oh my gosh! No. Yes, more fruit. And splash. All right, so stream chat level and three. the stream must be slightly off because when you said bananas, it, they came up a little bit later. So there we go. Now we know. This is cool. Oh my god, it's getting faster. What, what was the story? Oh, for God. <laughs> so you're talking about the hands and how you guys are thinking of removing them. Oh, you wanted me to finish that story? Yeah, let's finish that story. <laughs> okay. All right. So, we were just we were just brainstorming on whether or not we should um, remove them because when we when we had the critter climb come out and uh, with the original hands that the ones that we currently have, the ones that are kind of just on the critter body. Um, it would it would have been a, a really tough challenge to try and make those hands work um, to have the critters climb the pole, I guess. Um, so what what the uh, the twins and Dan did were, was they animated the hands off of the critter and just had the idea of having them float because it solved the issue of you know trying to brainstorm a way around. The hands that we currently have um, but the issue with that was we wanted it to be kind of similar to the hands that we have in the game when you walk around and you put your items on so what we were thinking was we would have floating hands um, and then when you put your items on the hands would be the frontmost layer um, so there would be no sleeves, there would be no holes where the hands would go. The hands would just be floating in front of your um, your items. And so we were just kind of brainstorming around that. And then we got into, well, what if we just remove the hands entirely? Um, except for when your critter is doing a waving emote or dancing or something like that. Um, so that's also a possibility. But I, I wanted to get a general consensus about, you know, what what you guys might think. Um, I can I can pull up some images. When Juke was continually, his little hands were waving, falling so yeah. beautifully. Yeah, when I was playing Critter, <laughs> uh, you cut out a little bit there. So, what, what, what were you saying when you were when I was playing Critter Clan? When you were falling so beautifully in Critter Climb, <laughs> failing, um, and your little hands, your little hands were waving above your head, Ryan is saying the guys were going to have for um, for certain situations like that. Yeah, yeah. Take the uh, take the falling animation for example, um, where the hands are kind of above the head, kind of shaking, um, similar to that. So we were thinking, all right, critters 
don't have hands unless they're performing an action like that. Um, That's cool. So when you put on the clown costume that is out right now in the game, you'll notice that there's no hand or sleeves or anything. So that that's kind of, or or even the um, what's it the uh, the SpaceX suit. Oh yeah, um, yeah. The space Elon doesn't have Musk's it either. Space suit. Uh, th- those don't suit. have hands either. Yeah. 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 Huh. Um, or or even the hot dog too. I mean, th- that doesn't have hands either. Um, so that that's kind of the idea of of what what it would look like without hands. And I, it, at first, it seemed a little odd. But I think it's definitely growing on me, and it would make things a lot easier, designing-wise. We can get items out faster. Um, the icons won't be as complex. Obviously, it doesn't take too much time to put sleeves on, but you know, each little bit of time adds up. Mm-hmm. Well, because yeah. you not only have to put sleeves on, you have to add shadow and all that stuff. So there's a yeah. lot more than just adding sleeves and stuff that people don't realize that um, all the artists, what you guys have to do. So. That's cool. Yeah, it definitely allows kind of for more flexibility. Let's say for an animations, like you could have like a waving animation or some sort of dance animation in game where your hands are kind of flailing around. It would definitely be easier to do if the hands are floating and they only appear kind of when you do that animation or whatever. That definitely does make sense. That's yeah. true, yeah. It just makes things, I guess it just makes things easier um, in general. And and that's that's pretty pretty big for when we want to release stuff faster to you guys. Yeah, and I would love to hear. I'm sure Ryan would as well. If any of you guys in the stream have any ideas that maybe you want to say in the chat. Yeah, and yeah. and feel free to message me on Discord or Twitter. I I check my messages um, as often as I can. Um, but if I don't if I don't get to you, don't don't feel like I'm ignoring you. Sometimes I just yeah, get too he's flooded. ignoring you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he ignores us too, so don't worry. You're not. He just ignores all of us. <laughs> he ignores no. all of us. Just um, the same. But if if you do have any ideas, um, Dan and I are definitely open to hearing what you guys think because it's still it's still in a brainstorm kind of stage um, since it the game is still like not even in beta yet. I guess. <laughs> But, Otter has uh, a question. Question from chat, and it's from Mr. Otter Rock. I'm sure you oh, know exactly what, what question. What did Otter say? What do you think he said? <laughs> uh, <laughs> while I set it up, I remember how. Okay. You got this. Um, Pretzel, get your nose out of there. Pretzel, come on, we're friends. You're supposed to be saying yes, 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 not no. Here are my we're uh, I'm not gonna wear the bucket hat anymore. That's done. No more bucket hat. <laughs> oh, I think it would be hilarious. We need more glitter. No God! No God! Please no! 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 <laughs> <laughs>